Hello, my YouTube family. Yeah, you didn't see me yesterday. Sick as a dog. 327. Because I looked at the clock. Why am I getting up in cold sweats? My stomach's nauseous. I can't really say a headache up here, but like a neck ache back here. I was a hot mess yesterday so by the time the alarm finally did go off there was no way I was going anywhere I'm talking nauseous I'm talking like couldn't keep anything down if I was eating that kind of a thing throwing up but not like throwing up throwing up like spitting up oh it's just it was just nasty it was just a whole nasty situation I spent pretty much the entire day in the bed, in the bed. And lover boy, Tom, of course he wasn't used to me being home on a weekday. Not that I can, I think he can tell weekdays from weekends. You would think, you know, your, your master or your owner or, you know, person who adopted you and loves you will get some kind of love running around toys Eileen got him a new toy it had it had it's a mouse on a stick that I could play with him with thank you Eileen by the way and he just immediately I gave it to him, immediately tore off all the feathers. Tore them all off. Off. Gone. In like less than five minutes than he had the, that he had it in his mouth. Now, of course, it's it's a mouse like filled with catnip. So of course the catnip's driving him crazy. But for real? Like I can't tell whether he loves feathers and that's what he does, or he hates feathers and that's what he does. So I think he loves them because he just couldn't get enough of it. But either they were not sewn on tightly or he's just a very strong cat. And got teeth like, you know, I don't know what. So that is the reason why you did not see me yesterday. I was a hot mess. A hot mess. Thank God I, I went to sleep early last night. And when I say early, I, I do mean midnight on the nose. That's early for me. Um... Late is like 12.30, quarter to one. So now I see that the deal is you have to go to sleep at 12, Nancy, to get a good night's sleep. Because homeboy thinks that 5.20 in the morning is time for me to wake up. Oh, no, no, no. But this morning, what? 5.20, he hopped on the bed, walked all over my feet. I looked at the clock and I'm like, and I know he has food. I know. Because I put a whole bunch last night of food in his tray. So I know he can't he doesn't eat all that much. So I knew that there was food in there still. So you can't talk to me about you being hungry. And there was still water in the water dish. So what's the problem? No, he wants fresh water. So I looked at the clock and I'm like, no, 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 can do, sweetie. Mm -mm. 520 is not mommy's time. You got to wake me up at 615. Either my mother is playing tricks on me, or this cat has magical powers. Because at exactly, I'm I'm not joking. At exactly 6:15, he started scratching up the bed. Like, okay, you said 6:15, time to wake up. He scratched the bed. The alarm went off. I'm like, for real? Okay. So now I'm hoping that he sticks to that because he can be my second alarm or whatever. Like seriously? So, you know, mommy had to do her duty to feed the king and fresh water, made sure that this food was fresh. And, and then I'm in the bathroom, you, you know, taking care of my morning business and he, he come peeking in like, how you doing? I'm like, uh, excuse me, excuse you coming to pay me visits. You don't see me paying you visits when you're doing your business. 
But as you can see, he is coming out of his shell rather nicely. Rather nicely indeed. So let's get on with lips of the day because I know y'all are looking at the box behind me over here. Talking about, ooh, Nancy got a Sephora. Yeah, Nancy got a Sephora. Because Nancy had to order some stuff in order to get her birthday gift. And um, let's do lips of the day so I can talk to you about all of this. Lips of the day. As you can see, I did not put a headband today, but as you can see. Read it. So, what is this red? This is an old, old Urban Decay red. I don't even know. You could try. I don't even know if you'll be able to get it. But this is lined with the Jordana Kajal Lip Liner in Maroon. Love this liner. Love this liner. Jordana's got some great liners. And these are like old liners, so they stick around and last a good long time. Filled is this old scratched up, beat up, you can't even see the writing on it anymore. Urban Decay Lip Gunk, the original packaging of the lip gunks back in the day. And this one is in the color Tart. This is in the color Tart. Tart, um, for some reason, I don't know what it is. But for some reason, likes to pack up its bags and travels. As you can see, it is traveling. It's going past the lip liner. But I love it so. And you know lip gunks can just grab onto your lips and they are not letting go until you take them off. So besides previous from what I just did, that was after lunch. No lie. And lip gunks have a taste to them. Let's see, Kiss, I think, is Coca-Cola. This one, ooh, this, the scent is fading, so I can't really tell. Pepsi, maybe? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But I know Kiss, also an original lip gunk, that I wore, what, just last week or Monday or something? No, Monday was the one Eileen got me. So I wore Kiss sometime last week. Uh, that was in the flavor Coca-Cola. This one is in the flavor Sprite or it's some kind of soda. I don't know what it is. I can't tell. So there you have it. That is lips of the day. And as you can see, I am feeling a hell of a lot better because yesterday it was ugly. Okay. So before I show you the Sephora box, my girl African Export did a video yesterday. I should have seen the video before I placed the order because not only did I place this order, oh yeah, I'm on the bandwagon back again. There is an all uh, 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 cosmetics, all cosmetics wholesale order. It's on its way. I should have watched her video before I hit the send and complete and I should have hit delete is what I should have hit. She made a video yesterday. I think it's called put that ish back. She didn't say, I say ish, but you know what it's in place of. And it had to do with, she was speaking about herself and in general, what women tend to do. And, and, and people just, you know, it's really not only just a woman thing. It's in everything. It's in everybody and everything. But there's got to come a time, and I guess I've never reached it. There's got to come a time when you have to look at what you have and then look at what you have in your hands in the store and say, you know what, I already have this. Or, better yet, I don't need this. What, 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 what am I buying this for? It is a want. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's a want. It's not a need. And sometimes there's a fine line because all our wants, we really tend to say we need this. Especially if you watch any YouTube haul or even my old videos. I will tell you, yes, you need this in your life. No, you don't. No. Your life was fine before it came into, into play, before I introduced you to it. And it'll be just fine if you pass it up and you just keep it moving. Save your money. This is what I'm trying so desperately to do. And I have been good. You all know I have been good. I haven't touched a drugstore purchase in eons. 
since March, maybe. I've been very good when it comes to drugstore stuff. I could go into the drugstore, get what I, I need, not what I want, I need, and then walk out. Because I've, I've often told you, I've gone to the store, and I show you the CVS bag or whatever, and I buy what I need, basically toilet paper and other uh, personal uh, toiletries, sundries of some sort, and I keep it moving. And I tell you, I'm on the line, and the cosmetics aisle, the health and beauty section is right over there, and I just keep it moving. Got to keep going. So I am good when it comes to going into the store physically, getting what I need, what I'm there to get, a box of aspirin, whatever, and then keep it moving. But online, I think that's my weakness right there. Because it's just, it's so easy. Going to the store, you have to physically go to the store. And sometimes you just don't even, like, uh, you have to go to the store to get whatever you, you need. But you just don't even want to be there, so you just go, you pick up what you need, and you, you get out. You don't want to peruse. You don't. Mm. But online, you could be a lazy mofo like me, and your mouse is just traveling. And then, ooh, look at all cosmetics wholesale. Ooh, look at Sephora. Ooh. And then what? You putting in the cart, you putting in the cart, add to cart, add to cart. Next thing you know, the credit card's out. Next thing you know, you hit and complete. That is where I need to put the brakes. And I have put the brakes for a long time. I haven't done any drugstore hauls, as you well know. And I haven't done any online hauls until just now. So knowing this, I am going to put a halt again. Because I'm not, I'm, I know I'm not the only one in this earth, but I have debt. So why am I putting myself more into debt like I pay my bills to get myself out of debt and then all you do is just keep ordering and you, you just the, the cycle continues so you paying but then you're buying so it never does get paid up so I have got to focus and African export is old is, is older I am older than she is you would think I would know better this is why she is so wise she is so much wiser than I was at her age. I mean, she's been through life's struggles that I've never even, have never brushed me. I've had my own struggles. Everybody goes through struggles. You can't go through life without a struggle. But she's gone through life's experiences. She's a mom. I'm not a mom. She recently got married. I'm not married. You know, she's focusing on getting a house. I live in my house but if I were to marry I don't know if my husband would want to live in this house we would probably want to purchase another house and that's another set of responsibilities she's going through that right now God bless her and I am I am rooting for her African export if you're watching I am rooting for you my fingers are crossed so she's so much more advanced and so much more mature than I am and I am not putting myself down in the sense that I am immature. I am mature. You know I can be immature when I want to be, but in all seriousness, I'm responsible with my bills. I'm responsible with, you know, my responsibilities. But when it comes to stupid crap, like, do I really need another lipstick? I think there's three in the box. What all because I gave myself the excuse of, oh, well, Sephora still has my birthday gift. If I didn't get this year's birthday gift, was I going to die? No. I'd gone this long. I mean, my birthday was last month. If we're in August. Why didn't I go crazy getting it last month? No. All of a sudden, something hit me, and I was like, ooh, I got to get my birthday gift. And, oh, by the way, why don't I get this? For real? Seriously? And then while I was on that track, I was like, well, if I'm ordering, I might as well just go to All Cosmetics Wholesale and see what they got. Haven't visited that site in a while. And that's another thing. I've kept away from these sites. I have kept away from these sites for a quite a long time. If I had visited them, you know I would have purchased something and you know you would have seen a haul. So you have not seen any hauls as of, until today. And, and when my All Cosmetics Wholesale comes, I'll show you that. But after that, I really would like to go the rest of the year without buying a damn thing. 
because I don't need anything. I don't need anything in regards to cosmetics. I've got face powders. I've got highlighters. I've got bronzers. I've got lipsticks that go back to 1977. I got... What do I need? What do I have? Eyeliners. I have lip liners. I have mascaras. I have blush that I could take to the grave with me. So what? 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 Why? Why am I buying more stuff? YouTube has a lot to do with it too, and African Export blamed it on YouTube too. But we're the ones that are going to YouTube. YouTube isn't telling us, you know, it's not putting a gun to our head and saying, you've got to go and see a video of cosmetics. No, we just go because our we've made friends. We want to see what our friends are doing, what to see. We want to keep up. And our friends do hauls. And our friends are very good at convincing us that this is the color for you, girl. And you got to get this and you need this in your life. And you don't want to disrespect your your girl. <laughs> so you're like, well, if she says I need it in my life and she's a friend of mine, well, and you're not really friends, friends, unless you've actually met. We've never met. African Export and I, she's in California. I'm here in New York, Queens. She's a, she's a Bay girl. I'm a Queens girl. New York, California. But we are friends in the sense that I was introduced to her by one of her videos. And when I started to make videos, I saw that every so often she doesn't she doesn't comment. She rarely comments. But she will, you know, then I I, I knew that, oh wow, she's she she's watching some of my stuff too. So in a sense, we are acquaintances through YouTube. We have YouTube as a as not a partner. I don't want to use the word partner because partner in YouTube world means something different we are what's the word I'm looking for it starts with a CO we are combined I guess that's the word I'm looking for through YouTube so YouTube has a lot to do with making friends but it also has a lot to do with us spending money unnecessarily so I have to really watch that now, I fell off the wagon. I'm going to admit it. I fell off the wagon. You can see the Sephora box right behind me, which I'm going to show you now. And I fell off the wagon with my old cosmetics wholesale. So without further ado, I really do want y'all to go check out African Exports video. It's called, if anything, I'll post the link to the bottom up on, on the bottom, but it's called put that ish away or put that ish back. If you're in the store, put it back. You know, you don't need it. You know you don't need it. Okay, so Sephora, as you can see. Sephora. And it says fragile. I don't think I, I bought anything fragile. But we shall see. Maybe my birthday stuff is fragile. I don't know. All of this, all of this. Okay. As for my free samples, I may be giving these away. I, but one of them smell. Mm, maybe not. I may not give nothing away. Okay. This, oh, this is another sample papers galore. You know most of the time you're just paying for the packaging, right? Because these things are really tiny and there's no need for all of this. So here we go. Um, Okay, this is my birthday stuff. Real birthday turn-ons. This little itty bitty thing. It's got the real mascara from Benefit, I think. Yeah. Benefit, they're real. And Benefit, what's up? I don't even know what that is. Um, glide on cheek and brow bones. Oh, I guess it's a highlighter. Okay, so I ordered all because I needed to get this. This is my birthday gift. Happy birthday. Past birthday to me. But Nancy, what did you buy? Well, this I did need. This is a makeup brush shampoo. You know, Sephora's makeup brush shampoo. I definitely, Lord Jesus, my brushes need some work. They need some help. So this is a need. And then here are the two wants. Is this everything? Because I could have sworn I ordered more. Um, purifying brush. Yes, this. And I'm going to wear 
this is. But it's here. Oh, Purifying Blush in the Rouge Shine Lipstick. And Yves Saint Laurent Rouge. Okay. Now we have gone, you and me, have gone through this before. Remember when I was going through my purple phase and there was a picture that I showed you of a woman with the purple lipstick that I needed to find. I needed to have it in my life. Needed to have it in my life. I was going crazy. I was going nuts. Lord Jesus, I need to get this shade. I can't sleep. I can't drink. I can't eat. I need this shade in my life. I need this shade in my life. And then my girl, um, 80s chick. Found the lipstick. She found it for me. She found not a shade that looked like it. No, she found it. This was it. So the following Sunday or videos further on, um, I had gone to the mall with my cousins and I saw it and I tested it and I said, mm, I really don't want it after all. So why the hell did I buy it now? It is... Rouge Pure Couture Vernis A A Lev Glossy Stain. You know, Yves Saint Laurent, some French stuff. So this was the this was the, the the purple that I had to have in my life. That when I finally came up close to it, I was like, mm, I really don't want it. So why do I have it? Why did I buy it? I bought I bought it anyway. This is in the color. Oh Lord. Does it have a name? Oh, Violet Edition. I spoke to you about Violet Edition before. This is Violet Edition. This was the purple that I needed in my life. This is one of those lip stain lip glosses that will stain. Lord, I'm going to make a swatch. And then I'm going to wipe the swatch off. You will see the stain. That stain will last until the rest of the week. I will take a shower. I will scrub. You will see the stain. If I remember, I'll show it to you again tomorrow. I will wash it and wash it. And this this is no joke. Okay, so here we go. Violet edition. So you already know it's in the purple family because I was going crazy over the purples. Here we go. It's got one of these tip brushes. It's flat on the side. Pancake here. Flat pancake. And it's, it's a little curved. Okay, so here we go. What's so special about this color, people? I don't, I don't, I don't know. This is Violet Edition. It's a gorgeous shade. I love it. But this further on down the line, it's like I've been there, done that, and I don't need it anymore. But wait, hold on. This is it, Violet Edition. Very smooth. I can tell. Very, very smooth. And L'Oreal Caress is quite similar, I think. I'm going to wipe. Do you see that? Do you see? Wiping, wiping, wiping. You see the stain. It's still there. And I just gave you one swipe of lip gloss. It is still there. Okay, so that's that. And then I also ordered a Sephora lipstick. Look at the color. This is in Heartbreaker and it's a glossy lipstick. Yes, I will swatch. I'll open it in its packaging. I really don't want to make this any longer than this video has to be. It's a purple. Good Lord have mercy. Lord, sweet Jesus. This was when I was going through my Violetta phase. I wanted to have this lipstick. I think this was after my Violetta phase. But I saw this lipstick in a Sephora. I had gone on a luncheon with my girlfriend, Carrie. We went to a Sephora and oh sweet Jesus, I saw this and they did not have it. So I finally bought it. 
There we go. This is called, what is it called again? It's not Bewitched. This is called, what the hell? Oh, here we go. Ooh, I can't throw this away. Um, it is called Heartbreaker. Oh, I guess I need to swatch, right? Okay, so you see Heartbreaker. <laughs> Lovely purple. Oh my goodness. And there it is. It's rather light. There you go. Right next to the stain. This is Heartbreaker. What's the big deal about Heartbreaker? Why did I need this? Why do I need this in my life? You can barely see it. Am I going to take them back? Oh, L to the no. No, no. No. Um, no. So, yeah, people. Okay, I'm going to have to work on that later. That was my Sephora order. I love you. I love my YouTube family. This thing is going on half an hour. And I know some people do like to complain. Um, those of you that are not my family members, but who just tend to watch every now and then. Um, let me know what you think. You see, it's traveling already. Why? I don't understand why. It is the Urban Decay Tarte. I don't know if you can still find this. You may want to eBay it. That you may want to do. And that's it, people. Okay? Um, I have rambled on far too long, but there are lessons that need to be learned in what I have said. I am going to put the link of African Exports video on the bottom. Please check it out. Please check it out because we need to stop the madness. We need to stop the madness. I'm not saying don't ever buy another lipstick as long as you live. I'm not saying that at all. And I don't think she's saying that either. But we don't have to go crazy. We don't have to buy the whole store. We can treat ourselves a birthday gift, a Christmas gift, even if you want to buy yourself a little Valentine's gift. But we don't have to go every week to the mall, every week to Walgreens, every week to the Dwayne Reed. No, we don't need to do that. Because later on in life, I'm talking to you youngins, teenagers mostly. Later on in life, you will want to get a car or you will want to buy a house and you will need good credit. And if you start with the bad habits like I did early on, I'm paying for them now. I'm in my 40s. I'm paying for credit stuff that I purchased when I was in my 20s. Still, because of all the debt that I'm in. Don't do that to yourself, people. Do not do it to yourself. And I need to stop doing it to myself because I'm not getting any younger. Okay? So, just watch our video. There's lessons to be learned. I am I'm so thankful she came into my life through a video. I am so thankful. So, African Export, mwah, I love you so much. Okay. Hit me up. Let me know what you think. And um, tomorrow is another day. Tomorrow is Thursday, so I don't know. Um, but uh, let me know what you think. I love you. I love my YouTube family. And um, talk to me. Okay? Talk to me. Let me know what you think. I love you. Bye now.